With 197 or 195, depending on who you ask. countries in the world, there's a constant need for space for expansion. But there is one piece of land that two countries are literally fighting over who doesn't have to keep it. This is the story of Berta Wheel and why nobody will ever want to claim it. Welcome to History Watch, where we tell stories worth watching. <laughs> Berta Wheel is a bit of land approximately 795 square miles that sits in between Egypt and Sudan. To give you an idea of how big that is, it's roughly half the size of London. Neither Egypt or Sudan want this barren, hot bit of desert land, and they've been arguing over whose it isn't since 1902. Interestingly though, the reason neither of them wants it actually has nothing to do with Berta Well, but is in fact a lot to do with a more populated, mineral-rich bit of land, the Halab Triangle. Let's travel back to 1899. When Britain ruled the world, almost. Britain and Egypt reached an agreement which defined the Egypt-Sudan border as being territories south of the 22nd parallel of latitude. This placed the Halab Triangle in Egypt and the less in-demand bit of land, Bertouil, in Sudan. The problem was Britain wasn't very happy with these borders, feeling they didn't truly reflect the migration of tribes, the identity of populations, or more likely where the money was. So, in 1902, they decided to once again stick their abnormally long noses where they weren't needed, and revise the 1899 borders to create the new administrative boundaries. These boundaries place stinky old beer to wheel in Egypt, and the sexy desirable Halab Triangle in Sudan. Needless to say, Egypt was a bit miffed. Uh, this is bollocks, this is while Sudan happily accepted the new borders and laid claim to their new bit of land, Egypt angrily refused to acknowledge this new map, continuing to claim the borders stated in the 1899 agreement. Both countries wanted the Halab Triangle, which meant that neither could claim beer to will, as to do so would be to acknowledge the other's claim on the territory they were fighting over. Seriously, Britain, why can't you keep out of everybody's goddamn business? Ever so sorry chaps, it's just what we do. 120 years later, and there is still no solution. The Halab Triangle is under the day-to-day -day running of Egypt, but both countries still lay claim to the land. Both countries include it in their maps, and a new road connecting the land of Sudan is in the process of being built. But in 2016, an Egypt foreign ministry spokesman said in a brief statement that these are Egyptian territories subject to Egyptian sovereignty, and that Egypt had no additional comment to make. Psych. The two countries will not sit down and discuss it, so it's likely the dispute will never be solved. And what of poor beer to will? Unwanted and forgotten. Probably the only unclaimed bit of habitable land on Earth. Why has no one stuck a flag in the ground? Well, they've tried. Several people have made claims of the land online, largely ignored by the international community, and in 2014, American Jeremiah Heaton travelled to beer to will and claimed the land as Kingdom of North Sudan. I claim this land as the Kingdom of North Sudan. In interviews, he said he'd claim the land so that his daughter could be an actual princess. Top level dad in there. Sadly, his claim was also ignored by everyone, and so Bertuil continues to be the land that no one wants. Perhaps you've got a potential micro nation in you. Fancy travelling thousands of miles to a tiny scrap of sand and rock between Egypt and Sudan so you can be king of your own minuscule country? Give it a go, why not? I'm not your dad. And that was a story worth watching. If you wanna feel alive, then click subscribe. If you wanna feel